So that's the drawing tool, and we're going to talk about that in more detail in a later video, but I just wanted to make you aware of that. Another feature in Shortcuts Lot 2.010 is the ability to pause your Cricut in the middle of a cut. Okay, so let's say that, you know, you're, you're cutting something and um, a piece of paper it came loose and it's, it's, it's causing a problem and it's getting stuck or something's tearing and you want to stop it or pause it so that, you know, you don't ruin what you're cutting. Well, you can now pause it and, you know, do what you need to do and then continue cutting. I'm, I'm not going to show you that here, but when you, when you go to cut something, you'll see it. In addition to that, now I think this is the coolest coolest feature here. I'm going to delete this. And sure cuts a lot. I'm going to import my SVG file. Okay. And I'm going to import the bottom portion. Okay. So there it is. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. So we have two. Okay. And then I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it again. So we have three. And I'm going to rotate this. Okay, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to take this and I'm going to overlap these slightly. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in here so you can kind of see it a little bit closer. I'll show you what happens here. Okay, so you see that these are overlapping. I'm going to move this down just a tad. Now, if I take and I highlight both of these and I go under path and I click on union. Okay, look at what happens. It's almost like welding, except that it's permanent. Okay, now I'm going to scroll back out. I'm going to zoom back out here. And you'll notice that this is one shape now. Okay, so you can actually literally join different types of files together. Okay, and make them permanently together. It's not just a weld. You're actually grouping two different elements together. Okay, uh, let me show you another example of that. I'm going to take this heart. Okay, and I'm going to take another heart, and I'm going to take another heart. Okay, and I'm going to highlight all of these and go to Path and hit Union. Okay, there it is. Now I've got like a really cool heart border that if I keep going, I can make it as long as I want. I can make borders. I can really take all of the files that I have already and get really creative with them. Okay, you're not just welding anymore. You're actually creating projects on your screen. It's really, really cool. Now, in addition to the union command, okay, you also have the ability to create, like, I would call a negative effect, okay? So, what we'll do is we'll take a heart, okay, and I'm going to grab my text tool, and I'm just going to type the word love, and I'm going to put it in here. Okay, I'm going to go to object and arrange it. I'm going to bring it to the front, okay? It doesn't really do anything, but it, it tells shortcuts a lot that this object is in front, okay? So I'm going to take it and put it on top, okay? The word love is in front, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way and move this out of the way. I'm going to highlight this, so it highlights both the heart and the word love, and I'm going to go under path, okay? And I'm going to click exclude, okay? Now you see what that did? It took the layer on top, and basically removed it from the layer on the bottom, leaving us with this cool design. Okay, now if you click on the preview, you'll see that you've got this cool heart with the word love cut out out of it. Okay, now before you could have done that by just putting the word love on top of a heart, but now, you know, you can actually take this, click it, and move it, resize it together as one element, and we can even take it a step further, overlap it with this, highlight all of these, go to path and union those. Okay, so now we've got an even bigger element. Okay, so you've got all these new cool features that will really help you expand your creativity and sure cuts a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna clean the mat off here. I'm just gonna get rid of these. Okay, and I'll show you the rest of these options here. I'm gonna put another heart on the mat here. And then I'm gonna take another heart and put it on the mat. I'm gonna overlap it. Okay, now check out what happens when I do this. Now if I highlight both of these and go to path and I do a back minus front, so basically it takes whatever object is in the back and subtracts it from the front. Okay, so let's do this. Let's make this the, send it to the back. Okay, and I'm gonna go under path 
and do that. Okay, so depending on which object is in the front and which object is in the back, and you can define that by using this option here, arrange, you can bring it to the front or bring it forward or bring it to the back or send it backward. Now, send it to the back and send it backward, they're different and it all depends on how many shapes you're working with. If you're working with four shapes and you bring something to the front, that means it's all the way on top. If you're working with four shapes and you bring something forward, if it's all the way in the back, you're bringing it one level forward. So anyway, if I highlight these and I go under path and I hit exclude, you can tell that anything that's overlapped will be cut out. Okay, so it's just a matter of messing with all the different combinations to see what each one does and to get a better understanding of it. But as you can see, these new options are really going to expand your creative potential and sure cuts a lot. All right, so finally, I'm going to grab my type tool and I'm going to type the word test. I know it's not very creative, but it's okay. Put that on my mat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under path and I'm going to convert text to outlines. So I'm going to take my text and convert them into nodes that I can actually manipulate. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to go and highlight this again so that I can ungroup it. And then I'm going to click on the shape tool. And as you can see here, now I can actually manipulate every single node that basically creates these letters. Okay. In addition to that, I can take my draw tool and you'll notice here how that turns into a plus. I can add my own nodes to these letters. And then I can take the shape tool and I can take and manipulate these nodes as well. So, you know, you can basically take any font out there and, and add your own twist to it. Or let's say that you've got a font that, man, you just wish that it was just a little bit thicker at one point so it would cut out better. Well, now you can do that. You can make these slight manipulations. Okay. So that pretty much sums it up as far as the updates uh, in Sure Cuts a lot. And this takes us through version 2.007 all the way through version 2.010. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us on our blog, and that's at www.svgcuts.com slash blog. We'll see you at the next video. Thank you.